good evening, the Cag family. So, my side, I've just lost 2 0 away, away to Tottenham at Wembley. Fucking shit performance. And what? That was a kick up the ass we needed. I'm, I'm, I'm sad at the minute because, to be honest, I've had a shit, shit day, to be honest. Nothing to do with football. I've just felt shit all day. Um, yeah. And to be honest, I'm pissed off at the minute. I'm pissed off that I put YouTube before my family. I'm pissed off that I put United before my family. I'm pissed off that I put, I've put, like, like I said, videos on YouTube before my friends and family. And to, to be honest, I need to reconsider that. Um, I'm going to do rant. Don't give a shit if I, if I offend anyone. This might be my last video. Glenn Hoddle, the disabled hated little prick, could wait to get his cock out first minute. Yeah, let's wank of a fucking Harry Kane, shall we? Fucking yeah. Wank of a fucking Natalie, yeah. Get the fucking cock out, Glenn. Fucking prick. I said, fucking God, you would have shot by the fucking old team. Spurs this, Spurs that, Kane this, Kane that, Ali this, Ali that. Like, shut the fuck up, you prick. Go back to hating disabled people, you fucking prick. I fucking hate the prick. I swear to fucking God, he's worse than fucking Martin Keown. And that takes a fucking beating. Spurs this, Spurs that, Spurs this, Spurs that. Shut the fuck up. Jesse Lingard, I'm so fucking thrilled. He was fucking sub tonight. Fucking thrilled. Wank as a fucking dust 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 uh, dustbin on the fucking windy day. He's fucking shit. Jalen's with another snap of the snapshot of the game. Fuck off, you fucking Snapchat merchant. If I I swear to fucking God, if I hear if I hear a United fan or for United play scene, Link as a young player, I will fucking don't. I'll swear to fucking God I'll punch I'll punch my wall punch my fucking leg or something. Or so fucking God, for the last fucking time, Jesse Lingard is not a young player. To put it in perspective, I'm two years older than Jesse Lingard. Duh. That's been like, that's been like me playing for a Premier League club, saying people say, oh, the Carrick fan is a young player, which in fact I'm fucking not. Oh, so fucking God. He might be young in terms of life, but not as a Premier League player. Also, fucking God. Um, who else is going to get it for me t tonight? Oh, Deli Ali. Oh, Deli, I'm so good at the Spurs. I'm gonna, I, I want to play for Robert Bollocks, fucking Ali. You know what? I have to give a rat's ass if I, if I, get a, if, if I offend anyone. What an absolute scumbag, cuntbag, wanker, thuggery prick. He, his aim tonight was to break some of our players' legs. And I thought, you know what? I was so fucking thrilled and proud. A fucking Sanchez tonight, because he could have uh, he could have easily broke Sanchez's leg. In my opinion, San Sanchez got up quickly and stood up to, to the little thug. For me, Sanchez gets a fucking tan in terms of effort, and at least he wanted to create stuff. Um, I'm not gonna slate Alexis at all. He's my favourite United player. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I had some crit. No, I had had uh, four Costa Creeps and Capacy. But before tonight's game, that's couple. Of, no, sorry, I had Angel Delight and Custard, but that's beside the fucking point. Um, I don't see if I say man the gap. Yeah, because um, yeah, I'm so bothered about City. I'm in against a piss poor West Brom side, aren't I? That was the last thing in my fucking mind, to be honest. Um, um, yeah, I'd rather support United, a club with class and class and panache and history, rather than a club like City who get their fucking oil and money from from fucking Abu Dhabi. And they managed to say, yeah, I have to work on a fucking budget. Yeah. What was it? Guardiola said, I have to work on a, on a budget. I call it bullshit. Fraud. Yeah. So much so, um, he went in for fucking Maris because um, Sani said, um, by the way, um, Sani be back on Saturday. I joke, of course. Um, but um, who else is going in there? I'm glad I'm cancelling BT Sport because they're fucking not massive because it costs too much. And... Um, I'm f right. I have to choose my words carefully here. Um, oh, forgot one thing. Ding, got one. My best moment of the game, and it should have fucking happened years ago, uh, last year. Fellaini comes on. Spurs have a chance. Son has to do all. Son has to do. Waft. Square it to Kane. Three 0 but doesn't. Straight at the hair. Goes off the corner. Mourinho, Mourinho goes ape shit, which I don't fucking blame. He thought, nah. Sit on the bench, Marcus. I'll bring Ander on. 
I swear to fucking God, please, please, please let the Basque merchant fuck off. I swear to fucking God that I demand a clear out in the summer. I don't give a rat's ass. I don't give a rat's ass if I fucking upset people. These are the places that need to go. Small in Jones, Herrera, um, Fellaini, Lingard. Who else needs to bugger off? McTominay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Being tall doesn't cut it with me at United, I'm afraid. I need qual quality players at, at United, not fucking um, players that will uh, do a job. Lingard could go. I'll be fucking thrilled. It'll be my fucking life if fucking Lingard leaves. I'm fed up with this fucking handshake bollocks. I'm fucking... Uh, oh, fucking Marie... Look. Look. I am Mourinho N, but this... But this pending over for fucking Fellaini drives me fucking insane. If it was for fucking the hair, I'd be like, yeah, it's the hair, fair enough. I can understand why I'm a world class player. But Marwan fucking Fellaini. I'm fucking sorry. No player is bigger than United, and Mourinho needs to deal with that. I could, I could give a rat's ass if he fucking scored twice tonight. He needs to fucking go. I could give a rat's shit and I said fucking Fellaini was upset after the game. Saf bollocks. He reminds, me, he reminds me of the fucking Moyes era. He, re, he just reminds me of fucking Moyes. It's not a fucking coincidence since he's come, came into the fucking club who haven't won the fucking league. But people say, yeah, other players dictate that. Uh, I'm sorry, no. Um, when Fellaini came, it was obvious we, we weren't going to... The day we, we signed Fellaini it was the day we gave up the title, in my opinion. I'm sorry. Deal with facts, sunshine. Waft. Um, no doubt I'll get my City fans from fucking Pakistan, India, Abu Dhabi on my time. I think, aha, United lost again. <laughs> yeah, at least my club um, deal with injuries in the right way, uh, unlike yours, that um, go to Barcelona and think, oh, injection, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're back, uh, back in a couple of weeks. And lie, lied about um, side, the side chest pursuit. Yeah, um, cost too much, then, um, you know what, we'll go we'll go with Amaris instead. Um, yeah. Two and two equals five doesn't come in together, I'm afraid. I will. The day Man City win the league is the day I fucking die. Not quite literally, inside that is. If it was if it was any other club, by them or Liverpool or Arsenal, Chelsea, Chelsea, yeah, I could accept just about, yeah, I would be fine, but I'm sorry. I feel that like shit. United have done. done I've, I've turned, turned me to that. They've, they made me even feel more shitter. I've got Arsenal fans on, on Twitter wagging over the Gabonese well back. And somehow wagging over Mkhitaryan for some odd reason. Yeah. Um, they seem to... Arsenal fans are, are a weird bunch. They're, they're trying to convince themselves that, that they've had the best, better deal. Regardless Sanchez coming to us and Mkhitaryan and uh, Aubameyang going the other way. Hmm. How about... Two words... Nope. No. And the, the, the announcement video for Obabiag, please. Right, if I ask a rabbit fan what's the best announcement video of the season, no doubt they'll say side chess because, you know, they will agree with me. I joke, of course. But, uh, yeah, for me, side chess is, is the best announcement video of the season. And, uh, yeah, Arsenal never learned that they're, they're a crap club, mediocrity. As I signed a new contract, I could give her a shit at ass, as I've consistently said on this video. Mesut Ozil is a big game bottler. But as if I say, yeah, he's got to get United, uh, yeah, a couple of years ago. Keep up with the times, people. Don't go, don't behave like, don't act like fucking Liverpool fans. Say, oh, this is your year, lah, we're going to win the league, lah, fucking hell, lah. Yeah, last time Liverpool won the league, I wasn't even fucking born. That's how fucking long that was. I'm not going to get, although I've given away my, my age, you can pretty much guess. Um, no doubt this video would be posted on Blue Moon because they're snide little fuckers they are. They're a disgusting little forum. I was on it a couple of months ago. No, no, but... Da, 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 da. Rewind, retract. Um, I was on it a year ago and I got banned for having an opinion. I mean, really. Fuck, you talk about Kim Jong-un. Fuck me, Jesus. Oh, well, on the positive side, could have been worse. Could have lost a Swansea <coughs> asshole. Sorry. But I didn't be able to cheer myself up, but... Uh, but on a serious note, I feel like shit. I felt depressed all day um, for reasons I don't want to go into. I felt angry and sad watching the game. Um, one thing I'm going to pick out on 
the hypocrisy regarding Spurs. If that was us, if that was our place, um, um, being thugs, so to speak, fucking BT and the like, saying, "Oh, disgusting from United! How dare, how dare they, um, uh, be dirty to Spurs players?" But if Spurs, do, nah, it's fine. <coughs> I mean, fuck it out, really. God, Jesus fucking Christ! I swear to God, if Fellaini signs a new contract tomorrow, I'm not gonna say pass it up because I don't like that phrase. I'm going to go off this planet and someone shoot me with a fucking gun. Not literally, people, before you get any ideas. I will be absolutely fuming to the fucking hell. Don't give Fellaini a new contract. I could give a rat shit and ass if he wants 175 quid or 175,000 grand. Let him leave. He's a shit can. So I could give a rat's ass if fucking Meridio has a fetish for tall people. I want, I want Fellaini out of my fucking club. I'm sick to death of fucking Irish players dic dictating to the club and be bigger than the club and thinking, hmm, uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave, I'll stay, blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, so on and so forth. And, um, but yeah, I'm just pissed off, really. Um, as you can tell, excuse me. Um, uh, but anyway, I'm going to go off. Right, uh, but man of the match. I can, only, I can only name two pe two players actually. De Gea and Sanchez. Right, to my character United. Subscribe to my channel, the character fan. Comment below that video. Adios.